Hello and welcome to another tutorial in Game Maker. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me to make tutorial 17, and they've added. They asked me to add landmines and grenades. So those are some things that I probably will add. So if you have any more su su suggestions, uh, just put them in the comments below. Uh, but right now, if you didn't notice already, if you killed a lot of zombies, there. Are body parts lag the game because that's because they're still updating and they're still thinking and they're going through their whole uh, step loop so what we want, what we want to do is delete the object and just draw it to the screen just like our object bullet shell where we just draw one big sprite I don't know if you remember but in our step to step event if it speed equals zero uh, we would s draw it to a surface and then destroy the instance and so we're basically going to do the same thing. So if you want to, you can just copy and paste this in here. Oops. Okay. So if speed equals zero and rotation, what do we call it? Rotation speed equals equals zero. So if speed equals zero and rotation speed equals zero, then we're going to draw our object on the surface and it's and destroy our draw our sprite on the big sprite and then destroy our instance so it doesn't lag the game so I'm gonna go test this out save it okay so let's see if it works I think it did uh, if we really want to know if it actually gets destroyed we'll probably have to debug it by pressing the red button I'm just gonna pause it and then come back when it's done uh, Okay, so if we go to tools and say show instances, this shows all the instances in the whole game. And we want to keep our eye on object enemy. Oops, I mean object jumper. Okay, so see object jumper, you see the object jumpers disappear. Look, that means it's deleting themselves. They're somehow getting deleted. So see object jumpers yep they disappeared so that's a good sign that means that our game won't lag anymore after that so you can have as many body parts laying around the, the room and it won't lag the game so that's good uh, another thing I would like to go over is grenades and grenades is gonna sort of work like uh, sort of like the object jumper except they don't draw to the screen they just blow up so there's two ways we could do this we could do a particle system where the grenade emits many particles or uh, what do you call it frag and uh, it, the frag can bounce off the walls and hurt people that would be more realistic but uh, it can lag the game tremendously so I don't think we're gonna do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna check all instances within a radius of the grenade when it blows up and see and check if there's a wall between it and how far it is the person is away from the grenade and that's how we're gonna uh, determine the damage so I'm just gonna make a new sprite uh, resize canvas you know I'm just gonna make this off screen okay so we made a little grenade here uh, it's not that great but it will serve our purpose sprite grenade center it Okay, I made this grenade 16 by 16, so, uh, yeah. Now I'm going to make a new object, and I'm going to call it Object Grenade. And we want it to bounce off things, so collision, wall, it's going to bounce. Oops, where is it? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to add another stepped event. Actually, let's add a create event and we're going to want it to be very similar to the jumper object uh, so we can just copy this and then get rid of the stuff we don't want okay so image speed equals zero rotation speed okay rotation friction direction okay we don't want we want to get rid of this and speed get rid of that and we want to make the friction a little bit more yeah, actually, and on the jumpers, if it's too, if it's not enough friction, you can just uh, add some friction to it. 
because I noticed that the body parts seemed like they were sliding around a little bit too much. So you can just go ahead and do that. Um, okay, then our step event. Okay. Um, so what we want to do here is test if the speed equals zero. So if speed equals zero, then we want to check check for instances in radius. I spell that wrong. I forget. In R. Okay, and I'm in the wrong object. Okay. Let's go to the create event and make a new variable call it range. And this will be how far the grenade checks for instances. So uh, let's make it 128 for now. So that's about 264. So that's about the length. That's the length of 332. So three people. Um, I mean, four people. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Um, and we'll just set damage. Damage equals... How much health do you have? How much health does the zombies have? 30, okay. Uh, so let's say if you're really close, you get, you'll get damaged like 50. Okay, and then uh, if you're, the further you are away from the grenade, the less damage you'll, you'll get. So, uh, we'll do this. Uh, I equals instance. I sort of forgot what it was. Nearest. Instance nearest. Actually, let me think this over. Okay, you know, I think I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I might have done it before. Uh, and that is create a for loop. And I'm going to loop through all the instances, which might make it a little bit laggy, but yeah. Okay, so i equals zero. i has to be smaller than instance number. And object. Object enemy. I don't know if this is even going to work, so. Uh, if this doesn't work, you can just see my thought process then. Uh, okay, we're going to loop through all the object enemies. So, actually, I'm going to add another variable, call it n, n equals zero. Uh, okay, so if instance, well, actually, we don't, probably don't need n, n. So you can just say instance equals instance find object enemy i. So what this is doing is it's looping through all the object enemies. And this, this i variable is the index. Uh, so we're going to loop through it all the object enemies and check if they're close to the grenade. Um, so we're going to say if instant or if point distance inst dot x inst dot y and x and y if that is smaller or equal to range then do something. Okay, uh, let's see. Why is it giving me an error? Assignment operator expected. Okay. Just a second. Can we do this? Plus equal one. Okay, it didn't like the plus plus. Okay, uh, moving on. So we want to damage, damage instant here. So let's actually do this. Uh, distance equals point distance so we don't have to uh, 
call that multiple times. Oops. Okay, so what the heck? Once we have our distance, we're going to let me think of a of a ratio for distance and range. Just a second. Okay, let's do this. Damage. Damage equals damage times actually distance divided by range times damage. Okay, that will be our uh, formula for calculating our damage. So let me explain. Um, distance divided by range. Distance cannot be more than range, so if distance equals range, it's going to be 1. That's 100%. Anything below that, so it's just going to be from 0 to 100%. So uh, the percent times the damage. So if you're like pretty much all the way away, it's going to be 0%. Oh, it's actually going to be 1. So actually, we should do it like this. 100 range minus distance divided by range okay so we flip it so range which is 128 minus distance so it's going to be a positive number or zero um, divided by range oh actually you know what we shouldn't make it equal to because we can't divide by zero so just get rid of that equal sign there so it has to be less than range so this will always be a positive number divided by range it's going to get the percent uh, depending on how far you're away from uh, the grenade and it's going to multiply by the damage and that's going to be the temporary damage or the damage for that instance so uh, I'm going to go like this instance dot HP minus equal minus equal damage okay and then we're going to go like this uh, instance destroy okay um, and I think that's it for now uh, I went a little bit over but that's okay we've got a lot of things done and we almost have a grenade okay I'm just gonna set uh, our sprite for a grenade so hope to see you in the next tutorial uh, this is salivator please give me a thumbs up subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next tutorial thank you bye